Mark Hill from Greenleaves. So this is a quick review of the marginal constituencies which uh, Greenleaves are um, intervening in. Uh, just to uh, remind those of you who've watched the earlier videos, so there are several pockets of these. Uh, we have a group of five constituencies here in the northeast of Wales, uh, Allen and Deeside, Delin, uh, Rex and Vale of Clwyd and Clwyd South, uh, five Labour seats there. We have four seats here in the Stoke-on-Trent area, which are Stoke-on-Trent North, Stoke-on-Trent Central, Newcastle under Lyme, Lyme and Crew and Nantwich. Uh, we have um, uh, five constituencies here in the West Midlands, so that's actually here but expanded out, and they are uh, Wolverhampton uh, North East, Wolverhampton South West, Dudley North, West Bromwich West, and Birmingham Northfield. We have two constituencies in North Nottinghamshire, that's Ashfield and Bassett Law, which is... Um, uh, North Mansfield. We have um, two neighbouring constituencies here in South Yorkshire, Rother Valley and Peniston. We have one in West Yorkshire, Keithley, which is more or less there on the main map. We have Stockton South. We have Birmingham. We have Bishop Auckland. There's Baron Furness there. We have a smattering of other seats, Peterborough, Ipswich and uh, Dagenham. Uh, on the east side of East London, we have uh, Lewis uh, near Brighton, and then we have these five Lib Dem targets. So that's a Lib Dem target, these remaining are Lib Dem targets. So there are six Lib Dem targets um, Lewis, Thornbury, and Yate, Wells, North Devon, North Cornwall, and St Ives. Uh, so those are all of the constituencies we're contesting. Very recently, uh, about uh, five days ago, four days ago, there was a poll released in the Sunday Times which had been done by YouGov using a new form of polling technique called uh, MRP. Um, and this predicted the likely results of uh, each of the marshals in the country, including the Leave voting ones, which are of particular interest to Green Leaves. And the results show, well, of the seats in North Wales, to use the same order, uh, three would fall, that is Wrexham, Vale, uh, sorry, Clwyd South and Vale of Clwyd. Uh, the four Stoke-on-Trenton district um, uh, constituencies would all fall, so that's Stoke-on-Trent North, Stoke-on-Trent Central, Newcastle under Lyme and Crow and Nantwich. Uh, the five leave voting West Midlands seat would all fall, so that's uh, Wolverhampton North East, Wolverhampton South West, Dudley West Bromwich West, Birmingham Northfield. Um, the um, uh, two South Yorkshire seats would fall, that's Bassett Law, that's Ashfield. Uh, the two South Yorkshire seats would fall, that is um, Rother Valley and Peniston and Stocksbridge. Uh, the Northern England seats would fall, that's Stockton South and Bishop Auckland. The West Yorkshire seat would fall, that is uh, Keithley. Uh, the uh, Cumbrian seat Barrow would fall. Uh, the three seats um, that are interesting in the um, southeast, that is uh, Peterborough, Ipswich, and Dagenham, have all fallen. And the defences uh, that Conservatives are making uh, against uh, uh, Lib Dem challenges in uh, Lewis. Thornbury, Thornbury and Yate, um, Wells, North Devon, is that one I think, North Cornwall is that one, and St Ives, those defences are all successful. Uh, in other words, of the 31 in which we are um, putting some leafleting activity, uh, only three are likely to fall to... Um, uh, remainers or are not going to be taken by leavers. So of the 31 seats we're expecting on the basis of this poll 
um, something like 28 to end up at the end of uh, Friday the 13th they will be in leave voting hands.